वेलकम टू माई चैनल टूडे वी विल गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट दी थी लिम्फोसाइड्स द लिम्फोसाइड्स दैट वी हैव डिस्कस इन सेपरेट वीडियो हैविंग अ इम्पॉर्टेंट फंक्शन इन द अम्यून सिस्टम द अम्यून सिस्टम हैविंग द टू टाइप ऑफ पाथवेज वी कॉल एज द ह्यूमरल अम्यूनिटी एंड द सेल मेडिएटेड अम्यूनिटी एंड दीज सेल मेडिएटेड एंड ह्यूमरल अम्यूनिटीज आर कंट्रोल्ड बाई सर्टन लिम्फोसाइड्स दैट वी कॉल एज द प्रिकॉसर सेल्स ऑफ द लिम्फ नोड इन द लिम्फो दीज लिम्फोसाइड विल प्रिकॉ एजुकेट एंड दे आर being mature into the lymph node or they can be mature into the bone marrow or the other parts of the thymus and some of the parts of the bone marrow now coming to the functions of the t lymphocyte that is the thymic lymphocyte having a structure like this and this t t lymphocyte having a mhc protein that is attached we'll going to discuss the characteristic the functions and the type of t lymphocyte so before discussing the functions we have to know about the types of the t lymphocyte the t lymphocytes are of three types that i have written here is the helper t cell the cytotoxic t cell and the suppressor t cell the helper cytotoxic t cell is also called as the killer cells while the helper t cell is as the name suggests it will going to help the process of immunity and the suppressor t cell will going to suppress and prevent the excess of immunity of the body or prevent the autoimmune diseases that may occur if there is a excess immunity and antibodies will form against the own body now coming to the characteristic and the function of the t lymphocytes now guys here you can see i have prepared notes for you guys to make it easy and understand the characteristic and functions of the t lymphocyte the first point about the t lymphocyte is that they mature and educate in the thymus thymus called the maturation and the education of a t lymphocytes the thymus having an important part in the immune system i have discussed in a separate video the t lymphocytes are involved in the cell mediated immunity and most of the t lymphocyte carry the mhc protein on their cell surface that we have discussed in the diagram here you can see they having the mhc protein in the surface and it carry an important protein that we call as the major histocompatibility protein type 1 that is present in the t lymphocyte now the three type of cells having a different functions including the cytotoxic t cell or the killer cells possesses a cd8 marker the cd8 marker is an important carrier or a precursor for the certain conditions causing the immunity this cd8 marker is present on the cytotoxic t cell and it this cytotoxic t cell kill the virus cells the foreign cells and the cancerous cell so that's why it is called as the killer t cells the helper t cells they possesses the cd4 markers on their surface and they help the process of the immunity and they help the function of the cytotoxic t cell and the suppressor t cell then the last type of the t cell that is present in the immune system is the suppressor t cell the suppressor t cell will cause the feedback of a cycle now what is the feedback of cycle a feedback is a pathway through which this cycle of the immunity is con uh, is continuous what happens when the uh, when the immunity is going on the killing is caused from the cytotoxic t cell of the various bacteria and any foreign particle and this helper t cell having the cd4 marker will cause the helping of that cytotoxic t cell to work so what happens if the pathogen has been killed or the virus or the infection cell have been removed from the body then the function should have to be emitted it should have to be stopped to prevent any further or the over immunity of the body that's why to prevent the over functioning of the cytotoxic t cell or the helper t cell there is a feedback mechanism that is provided by the suppressor t cell that will going to suppress the function of these t cells after the for a pathogen or the virus cell have been killed and the function of immunity is completed so this was the genetic characteristics and the function of the thymic epithelial cell thymic uh, lymphocyte and these lymphocytes are present in the bone marrow mature in the thymus and they are released into the body in certain areas and provide important function of the immunity i hope you will be explained well thank you for watching subscribe for more